How to turn assistive touch on and off on the iPhone 14. Welcome to one how to smartphones tutorial videos. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to turn assistive touch on and off. And for those of you that are not quite sure what it is, just a little shortcut button. So you got defective buttons or you got some dexterity issues where you can't um, press click. You know, it's hard to hit physical buttons. You can hit that little icon and you can use that to um, substitute actual physical buttons or motions that are not able to be achieved um, without that. So uh, the way to turn that on is by going into settings. So we can go ahead and hit settings. From here, we're going to go ahead and scroll down till we find accessibility. Once you find accessibility, go ahead and select that. Uh, once we are in accessibility, we will be going into touch. It is right here under the physical and motor tab. Once we have that selected right here at the top, we'll see assistive touch is currently set to off. It says assistive touch allows you to use your phone if you have difficulty touching the screen or if you require an adaptive accessory. So here we go. Um, assistive touch. Go ahead and go ahead and select that. And from here, I'm just going to go ahead and turn that on. And as you guys can see right there, we have our little button pop up. Um, it does become transparent if you are not using it. Um, and here it says this is used for, you know, um, having difficulty touching the screen. Um, what I've also used it for is if you got issues with the buttons on the sides, if they're not functioning properly, you can substitute those for this. So keep that in mind as well. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and go over some of these um, options that they give us. So right here, um, just, whoops. So right here, we got notification center. If you select that, it pretty much just swipes down, gives you the notification center. Um, we can customize it, give ourselves different options, you know, double tap, long press, hold and drag to do certain features. Um, and then right down here, we got gestures, similar, two, three, four finger swipes, five. Um, right here, there's a button for home. It just pretty much takes you from the lock screen to the home screen um, or takes you to the home screen from other screens that you are currently on. Here we have the control center, just to swipe down from the right, gets you all these shortcuts to use. Um, and then we got device, so it gives you a screen rotation. If you are looking to rotate your screen in one of the directions, you can do that here. Um, we got lock screen, pretty much the same thing as hitting that button. Um, next we have under device, we got volume up. So you, you see it scrolling up there and volume down. Um, and then here is an option for more app switcher. So it pretty much helps you toggle between currently used apps. Um, next we have under more, we have an SOS. That's pretty much going to be like a call for help type thing. Here's to restart accessibility, shortcut, reachability to shake screenshot. So here's a couple of features here, you know, screenshot, let's say you're using something. You wanted to screenshot it instead of using physical buttons, you can set a screenshot there. Um, and if you wanted to customize, um, this area to where, it's only got what five, six pieces, um, tabs here on the on the home of this function. If you wanted to customize that that top level menu, right here, as you guys could see uh, under the assist of touch top level menu, go ahead select that, and right here it's just showing six icons. If we can go ahead hit a plus um, seven, we can even add an eighth, but it maxes out at eight. And once you have that, you can hit plus there, and here it gives you different options of what to, um, you can add there. So we got you know we, let's say we wanted to add a camera for one. Select done, the camera is there. And then for this next one, um, say we wanted to, you know, do like a long press or a pinch, restart the device, a screenshot. Let's say you want to do a screenshot there. You can go ahead, um, spotlight, you know, you could set up spotlight there and, you know, a bunch of other commands you can use once you have it set, you can go ahead and use them. So there you guys have it. Um, once you guys have it set, you know, you can use it. It just, it pretty much just kind of blends in. You can even take this and um, click on it, press on it, and slide it, um, set it in the location that you want. Um, let's say you are done using the device, uh, done using the feature, you no longer need it or want it. Um, all you got to do to turn it off is same thing. We're going to go into settings, uh, like I just did, go to settings. We're going to scroll down until we find accessibility. From here, we are going into touch, and assistive touch is currently on. Just all you got to do is deselect it, and it turns it off just like that. So, so you guys could saw that little uh, function there on the side disappeared and it is no longer there. So there you guys have it. My quick tutorial on how to turn that um, assistive touch on and off on the iPhone 14 and 14 series phones. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Share it with anybody who may be looking for this information. And thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to see more helpful tips and tricks, be sure to check out that playlist in the description below. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.